good you're here. What's going on? Did you take my advice? You talked to Eric last night? Yes, yes, I went over there to talk about expanding my role in this company. Great, what do you say? I didn't get that far. Because then I saw Taylor in her lingerie in Eric's bedroom. Good morning. Hmm, so it wasn't a dream. No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> I'm hoping that's a good thing. What do you think? Hmm. Hmm, you put your jammies back on. Yeah. What's it to you? Listen, um, I've made a decision. I'm going to send a couple of our, uh, our stock people over to your house today. I want you to take everything you need. I want you to have it delivered to my house. I want you to move in with me. Mom, you here? Mom! Thomas? Looks like I'm here for the same reason you are. Mom's phone's been off all morning. Her car's not here. Did she not come home last night? Hey, man. Looks familiar. Looks familiar. You being on that thing 24-7. What can I say? A lot of nice things to look at. Mm. You must be Carter. You must be the cousin Rick I've heard so much about. It's nice to meet you. I've been looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. How long are you in town? Well, that's just the thing. I've been trying to convince this guy to stay in LA indefinitely. <laughs> we could use his expertise. Yeah, Marcus says that you're a patent attorney. Uh, intellectual properties, patents, yeah. Yeah, he has all the brains. All the good looks, too. Uh, what? <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, no. <laughs> wishes. You don't think mom is still at Eric's, do you? No. Yeah, no way. It's just, it's not her style. Let's be honest, mom's not the most adventurous person in the world. Yeah, she would have to analyze the pros and cons for a good three weeks before jumping into bed. Yeah, okay. You want me to live with you? Yes, yes, I do. People are going to say it's too soon, but I know what I want. And I know what I feel. I want you here. I want you here with me, like this. I want you next to me every morning. Eric. Is that a yes? Yes. Then it's settled. I crown you the new Forester Matriarch. <laughs> and after last night, and this morning, I'd make you the Queen of England if I could. I gotta get my hearing checked because what I heard was Taylor lingerie Eric's bedroom. Yes, yes, you heard right. Taylor was wearing lingerie. Get out of here. Eric? Wow. Well, you go, boy. You must be hitting that little blue pill pretty hard. This isn't funny, Bill. There is nothing amusing about this. It's pretty funny. I mean, I, I get why you'd be weirded out by it, but come on, Brooke. It's two lonely people. Eric just lost his wife. He's very vulnerable right now. And that's why she's doing this. She doesn't care about Eric. She's just trying. 
trying to take advantage. Well, we got to get my brother here a good woman. Marcus, what are you about? Oh, if you want to go out and enjoy yourself out on the town, Rick right here is your man. He can get you into any club that you want. Well, I don't know. I'm not as into it these days. Well, <laughs> you need to get back into it, okay? Because we got to keep my brother around, all right? Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on, all right? Because you used to be the party animal always getting in trouble. Look, this guy, he wore our parents out. Oh. Really? You, you're going to go there, huh? It's the truth. Okay. You did. Yeah, you're right. Fine. Yes, I was a little out there, and I was grounded three weeks out of the month. What can I say? But that's his fault. Mr. Goody Two Shoes never did anything wrong. So the minute I do something, yes, I lose my car privileges. That's cool. It happened now and then. But at least I have fun doing what I like to do. <laughs> yeah. Who's got the law degree and who doesn't? Exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, yeah, good point. <laughs> You're right about that. And actually, it's a law degree and an MBA. But who's, who's keeping track, oh. right? Wow, oh, really? Yeah, I told you he was a smart one. That's impressive. Well, Mr. Impressive Guy, I think that we should uh, keep you around since you like to work so much and be all in the books with your fancy degrees and all. What do you think? I think we should hire him and pick his brilliant legal brain of his. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor accuses me of using sex as a weapon. Well, that's exactly what she's doing with Eric. Using him to go after my children and me and to gain control of this company. You really believe that? Yes. She's jeopardizing the future of Forrester Creations and my family. I don't know, Brooke. Maybe you're reading too much into this. I mean, it was one night. They both needed to get a little freaky. They did. Everybody's happy. No harm, no foul. It's not like they're moving in together. No, now Eric's saying maybe he's falling in love with Taylor, and she's saying the same thing. It's ludicrous, really. It's classic rebound behavior. The guy's wife just croaked, and he's looking for a little female companionship. No, 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 no. she's pulling his strings. She's manipulating him. Think about it. She got Eric to make Tom his vice president. Yeah, that did come out of left field, didn't it? Yeah, and she did that all on her own. And now Thomas is breathing down Rick's neck. And Steffi? Well, she's pregnant, of course, so Liam's gonna stay with her and not be with Hope. And now Taylor has her claws into Eric. God, I really didn't see this coming. But she warned me. She said that there would be payback for all those years that she thinks I caused her and her family pain. And payback is a bitch. So is Taylor. Who knows what she'll do next. Okay, we've waited long enough. I say we call Eric. I don't know, it could be a problem with one of her patients, lost it in the middle of the night. Hey, Thomas. What are you guys doing here? It's supposed to meet your mom. Why? Do you know where she is? No, we're just here to help her move some stuff. Wait, why? Why would she get the Forrester shipping guys to move her stuff? I know. Mom, oh, we've been trying here. to reach you. Oh, I didn't turn my phone on. Oh, uh, where have you been? Oh, I I'm fine. I'm, I'm sorry if I worried you. I... Well, what are, what are these guys doing here? This is as good a time as any, would you say? <laughs> You're both aware that your mother and I have been seeing each other. We've been dating. This morning, I asked her to move in. And I said yes. So Marcus tells me Forrest is having problems with knockoffs and counterfeits? Every fashion house is these days. We've always had a problem with other companies ripping us off. Spectra, Jackie M, to list a few. But the counterfeiting, that's something new to us. It's global. Only getting worse. That's money out of your pocket. Lost tax revenue, jobs, but you can fight it. First step, review all of your patents. Make sure they're current, whether it's a fragrance or chemical formula, clothing or fabric design. Even the ideas themselves, they're all your products. They need to be protected. Now, do you have patent insurance? Well, I'm, I'm sure that we do, but I'm, I'm not sure what it all entails. Okay, well, let me look into it, see what you've got, and see if it's adequate. Well, what do you know? It looks like you'll be 
sticking around after all, big bro. <laughs> Taylor's already influencing Eric's decision. And after what I assume happened last night, her hold on him is only going to get stronger. We'll have to keep an eye on it. It's not good for the company. And you're an owner, so I thought you might want to know. Well, thank you. I appreciate your telling me. Thank you for listening. It's just, this whole thing is so frustrating. You know, she just blames me for everything that goes wrong in her life, blames me for ruining her marriage to Ridge, which she did all on her own. You think that's why she's going after Eric? Because he's your ex-husband? I don't know. But Eric thinks that Taylor's feelings for him are real. But I know she's doing it to go after me and to Rick because he's president and to hope for stealing Liam's heart. And I'm sure this is about Stephanie, too. Because she wanted you to be in Big Bear with her and not Taylor. She's very angry with Stephanie for dying in my arms. So I guess this is payback. She is sleeping with Stephanie's husband in Stephanie's bed. And it's just so disrespectful. I tried to tell them that, but they didn't want to listen to me. They just told me to get out. It's not right. It's not fair to me and to my family and to Stephanie. And I'm not going to let this happen. All right. So what are you going to do about it? I am going to talk to Eric. And this time, he's going to listen to me. I'm going to make sure of it. I'm not going to allow him to make this huge mistake. Is this a joke? No, honey. Yeah, but you just started dating. Excuse me. Did you say there were more in the garage? Yes, there's quite a few. You'll see them. OK, we'll come back for the rest later. All right, thanks. Don't you think you're moving just a little too fast? I've known and admired your mother for many years. Recently, we've grown very close, and I want to be with her full time. And I want to be with him. Wow. <laughs> OK. So I, I just want you two to be okay with this. Are you okay with it? We don't know where it's headed, but we just know that we need each other. And we want to be together. Okay. Whoa. Is there, like, a hidden camera somewhere? No, like... you're not being punked. <sighs> All right. <gasps> well, in that case, I am thrilled for the both of you. You know what? Go for it. You both deserve it. Thank you. I appreciate the support. Congratulations. And you too. A new baby, that's wonderful. Yeah, Liam and I are very excited. Well, it looks like things are finally looking up for our family. Yeah. How about a celebratory brunch? I do have to take a rain check on that because I've got to meet the movers over at the house. Don't you mean uh, our house? Our house. Yeah, so my brother Carter's gonna be in contact with you here shortly. Go ahead and give him any access to any files that he needs. Yep, right from Rick's mouth. All right, thanks, man. We're set. So what's the time frame? Well, it's a lot to review. Uh, a week. You got it. So you want me to walk you out? I'm cool. I think I can find it. You sure? Yeah, yeah I think I'm cool. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> Thanks, Carter. If you need anything else, just let me know. Sure thing. Later, bro. <laughs> wow. Your brother's really impressive. It's really nice of him to step in and help us out like that. Yeah, he's he's always been that way. Yeah. Does he happen to know anybody in the entertainment industry? Uh, managers, agents? Why? You plan on doing a one-man show? No. <laughs> no, not me. <laughs> but I met this really talented young woman over at Daisy's. She got up there, she sang, and she was terrific and beautiful. My gosh, she was beautiful. Ah, I see where this is going. Ah, uh, but she was special. She's different. And you want to know the best part about mm -hmm. her? She doesn't even know who I am. She thinks that I'm some waiter. She gave me a tip and I had the feeling that she couldn't even afford it. Wow. She gave it to me because she thought I needed it. Yeah, well, she's, uh, she's really special. She's upbeat, she's got this positive energy and this smile. I, I can tell that she's been through some rough patches. 
but her spirit, it just, it just shines through. Sounds like this woman had quite an impact on you. There's just something about her. OK, well, does she at least have a name? Hey, Caroline. Hey, you busy? Uh, no, Marcus just left. So, listen, dinner tonight. How about that new Thai fusion place that just opened up in Brentwood? I hear that it is fabulous. And you do kind of owe me for blowing me off to work at Daisy's last night, so. I thought that you blew me off. Uh, we were supposed to go on a date, Rick. I'm all for community service, but give a girl some warning, you know what I'm saying? Okay, well, how about this for warning? I'm on the schedule for tonight. Come on. Look, Daisy said that they were shorthanded. I volunteered to help again. I was just kind of hoping to spend some time with you. Are you sure you're not taking this volunteerism thing a little too seriously? No. No, I don't. You seem a little distracted. Yeah. I, uh, um, listen, I'm going to have to let you go. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later. I didn't see that one coming. But, you know what? I'm happy for Mom. Mom moving in with Eric so soon, it's like way out of character. You know what? It's good for her. She needs this. Well, at least we know she's in good hands. Yeah. And she's right. We're all in such a good place. Your vice president, Mom's moving in with Eric. You and Liam are having a baby. Yeah. And Dad's settling into his life in Paris. Free from Brooke. <sighs> yeah, well, wonder what Brooke will think about all this. Oh, uh, let's put that box uh, over there in the office. And then, oh, we can put this one in storage. Eric. He's not here. Why don't you put the rest of the things out in the truck, up in the bedroom? Okay. All right, thank you. What the hell is going on here? I'm moving in. Oh my God. Eric asked me to this morning. We've already talked to Thomas and Steffi, and they're very happy for us. I know it's a lot to absorb, but. Hopefully one day you'll find a way to accept this. You've got to be kidding me. Look, Eric and I truly do care about each other. We want to be together. We've made a commitment. This is our home now. No, 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 this is not your home now. I know why you're doing this. You're doing this to get back at me. For what? For our history. For Ridge leaving you? For Stephanie dying in my arms and not yours? For my son running Forrester Creations, not yours? You're not in love with Eric Taylor. This is no romance. This is revenge. <laughs>